I'm Christy Redfern. And I'm David Record. And we're car nuts. We like to race, we like to build cars, we like to play with cars. And as you can see, we have completely run out of space. You know, we're probably a little bit of an unusual family with two drivers. We have five cars between us and uh, with a two car garage that makes things very, very cramped. And it inhibits our car collection, it, it inhibits our racing capabilities. So we started looking around to see what was available and it basically boiled down to, okay, we would either have to buy a much bigger house to get a three car garage, or we could look into garages of Texas and get dedicated space for all of our toys and keep the house that we were very happy in living in. They don't build houses for car people. Uh, you know, that we can't get a modest home with a six car attached to a six car garage. Uh, so we started looking at, at other options. Um, and that's where we heard about uh, garages in Texas, where we could have a garage just for our cars. And when we started doing the numbers, to get a house with a three car garage with more living space than we really wanted, we could get, we could stay in our current home and get an air conditioned dedicated space to fit up to five cars. And then we'd still have our two car garage where we could fit our daily drivers. To us, it just made a lot more financial sense. You know, when we looked at everything and believe me, we looked because we wanted to make sure we were making the right decision this was, it just made sense. It really did. And another bonus with being at Garages of Texas was we would be around, uh, you know, like-minded people, uh, people that are other car people. Um, in fact, you remember uh, our, with our neighbors, with, with this car in particular, being as, as loud as it, as it is. Yes, so fun story. Uh, a couple of years ago, we were testing out something on my Camaro and had to fire it up in the morning. We had a little old lady who lived next door to us and she came wandering over asking if she needed to call the fire department because she thought our house was on fire. And Dave thought it would be a little funny to say, no, it's okay, we're professionals. And you know, we made a little joke out of it. I don't think she got it, but it was fun for us. But it was also a realization that our neighbors aren't always going to enjoy our cars and sometimes they're gonna be a burden and I know that in garages of Texas, when I fire up this Camaro as loud as it is, people are going to come over and go, hey, what have you got in that? Instead of, can you keep it down? So one of the things that we're really excited about garages of Texas is that we get to build it out however we want. Um, so much so that ours isn't even finished yet and we've already got toolboxes, a hydraulic lift and plans to build a racing simulator on our mezzanine as all part of what we want to do with our space. So as we build out the garage, not only will we have all the stuff to work on our cars, but we'll also be able to build out the mezzanine in a living area kind of situation so that when we want to go play with our cars, our kids won't be rolling their eyes going, oh no, not again, because they're going to be bored because we're going to be playing with their cars and they're not going to have anything to do. Plus we'll be able to keep an eye on them. Yeah, while that's we're a working huge on plus. our cars, which now we, I mean, right now they're 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 inside with the TV, and which we can't hear them from in the outside here, especially yeah. with the cars going. So we're just really excited to move into our space with Garages of Texas. We're really excited to meet all the other car people and check out what they've got, and maybe compare a little, see who's faster, because you know car people are always a little bit competitive, but. Um, you know, more than anything, we're just, we're excited to be around that community that much more, uh, to maybe be introduced to events that we hadn't heard of. And, you know, who knows what path this may unfold for us in our racing. We might meet some great people that we build a team with later on. They might want to rent our car. I mean, there's so many possibilities. And we're just excited at the chance to be around that.